my favorite part of being a farmer is the variation of planting stuff in spring to harvesting crops in the fall to watching the animals grow from calves to adults and all the way th through the whole life cycle. No, no day is the, is the same as yesterday. My wife nominated me for this. Uh, she takes care of all the heifers um, from day one to 10 months old. Uh, she throws a big part of taking care of our kids after work because I'm not home every day. Um, she gets them to school every morning, picks them up every afternoon, and is always home when I'm home so we can have time together. We currently milk uh, 1,400 animals and farm about 4,000 acres. Well, my grandfather started uh, just down the road. Uh, I don't even know when he started farming. Uh, and then my father started in 77 at our other location, uh, 13 animals, and grew up to 100 animals in 95. <clears throat> we were up to 500 milking cows in 2002. 2008, we bought this dairy and turned it to Sunrise Dairy when I started farming. And it was my father, Dave, and my uncle Dan, and me as owners till this last year and then it's just me and my father now. Our farm is unique in how we breed our animals. We have a three-way cross between Holstein, Jersey and Swedish Red or Norwegian Red depending on which one we're at. We carry a smaller animal that way with less milk but higher components so, so we can get a premium at the milk plants. All of our milk goes for cheese. My role on the farm is pretty much supervise everybody and more most action days. Uh, um, keep track of the herdsmen a little bit but the herds people do take care of themselves mostly. I help and organize most of the field work. Um, the feeding of the cows kind of take care of themselves but they turn to me when they need to and organize the 18 cow milkers on a weekly schedule. I enjoy driving the tractor a lot, but I get to sit and organize people most of the time. <laughs> Our team of employees are um, compiled of 25 people. Um, they, three of them do all the maintenance work and field work. Uh, three of them do the herdsman work and work treating all the animals very healthy. Um, and 18 of them do all the milking and cow moving on a daily routine and three of them take care of the young stock. We take care of our animals uh, very well, at starting from the calves. We feed them milk th for the first couple months, get them on the grain and the TMR, uh, keep them in a, in a building bedded well with straw every other day, uh, scrape them daily. Um, when they come back as bred heifers from Nebraska, we, they freshen here and they stay on site from there on, uh, receiving the TMR every morning, clean bunks every morning before the feed, and they get milked three times a day. Outside of the farm, I pretty much just spend time with family. Um, our family of soon to be five, um, parents, her parents, that's a, and we go to church on Sundays, and that's about it. Take care of farming and family. Those are the two number one things in our life. Our goal for the farm is to try to bring everything back to one location and bring our heifers back home. Uh, we hope to be in a spot where we can, the business can be productive in one spot. Right now we're milking cows on two dairies and traveling back and forth a lot. So hopefully someday it'll happen and we can just be in one place. Advice for future farmers would be to enjoy watching things grow and crops grow. Um, embracing the technology, it helps us um, take care of the animals better. The 
the passion for it because that's a lot of farming is the passion f for for it it's not just a job it's not just uh, somewhere to go during the day it, there's a passion that it gets met every day watching um, people mature or watching the plants grow or hard, driving tractor yeah it might be long hard days but at the end of the day it's still worth it